Hello and welcome to this episode of Microchips and today we have another is it genuine or is it fake video so I needed a spare part for one of my radios which was the audio amplifier the TA7205AP and when I was buying these off a UK seller in eBay I noticed he had 2078s for sale so I grabbed some of those as well to see whether they actually do anything because the last batch of 2078 support from a guy in eBay, they were completely rubbish. So let's see if these actually do any better and see whether the audio amps actually work. Now on closer inspection of these audio amps, they actually look like they've been removed from radios. So I think they're most probably going to work. So let's try the first amplifier. Sure enough, produces sound, seems to be okay. Like I say, I think they've actually been removed from radio, so they should be okay. Let's try amplifier number two. And that works. And amplifier number three. And yeah, those seem to be happy. So those are good to have in stock. So don't need to do much more testing on those. They seem to do what they say they do. So the next thing is the 2078s. So we're going to pull out the RF transistor from this scrap Harrier CB. Now that says it's a 2075 on there. I'm not sure how well these Harrier Rotel chassis, or should we say Cybernet chassis, like a 2078, but we'll try it anyway. And we have just shy of two watts. Okay, it could be a lot better. And that's with the original transistor in. As you can see, a healthy four and a half watts. Now, I'm not sure whether these Cybernet chassis like a 2078. So we're going to try it in this audio line 340. See whether that makes any difference. Sure enough, we're just getting shy of three watts on this audio line 340 now I've not left it keyed for very long because it's got no heat sink on it so let's attach it to the radio attach it to the heat sink or the back plate should we say so we can disperse some of the heat and let's see if we can tune this radio up now 3 watts isn't too bad really I mean I've seen a lot worse from the transistors that I'd bought uh, beforehand in a previous video so what we'll do is we'll just have a look at the service manual for the tuning procedure we'll see if we can squeeze any more RF output out of these transistors And it looks like we're only going to be able to squeeze three watts out of this. So I suppose they're not too bad. I mean, I've seen a lot worse transistors that produce absolutely zero RF power. Just managing to squeeze it over three watts there. I've actually moved it to channel 20 now. If 
mean, I know it's not the full 4 watts, but it's not too bad, I suppose. I mean, it would work and it would kind of be acceptable in a radio. I know it's only 3 watts instead of the 4, but you know, in these days of cheap amplifiers that can soon be amplified in the aerial line to produce a slightly better output so I don't think we're going to be able to squeeze any more than 3 watts in this radio so are these transistors fake? well they're definitely fake because you know it's like a 40 year old transistor so fake yeah most probably but they do kind of work which is a surprise and we can just about squeeze three and a half watts out of it so we're going to try another one of the transistors with a different marking on it see whether that's any different and now again just over 3 watts so that's not too bad so I think we can call this fake yes but working now I did actually notice that my power supply wasn't on 13.8 volts and squeezing it up to 13.8 volts we've managed to get it round about three and a half so I actually think that these are actually usable So I left the radio transmitting on a dummy load for a short while to see whether they actually failed under load. And the slight variation you can see on the meter there is actually my variable supply. One of the controls is a little bit noisy. But it seems to be steady enough. So, in conclusion, the audio amplifiers, they were no problem at all, they worked. I don't think they were fake, I just think they were pulled from other radios, which is kind of okay. As for these transistors, fake, yes, but they do work 90% so I think they are usable but anyway thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next episode